Once you're done adding or connecting all the data, we can actually close this data connect down. And you can see now we developed the information in, in our drawing. It's basically a bunch of lines and, and boxes. We need to now come in and, and stylize this information to make it look more appropriate. Because right now you'll see that it's just a series of, of squares. All right, doesn't really resemble what it is. But if you look at the task pane, you can see here that it has a you know has a legend that you can come in and you take a look at and say, okay, that's my stormwater. All right, there's my uh, uh, natural gas. All right, my utility poles in there, my heating and cooling, my fuel. All right. Now what's neat about this is you can come in and you can turn off these layers. So if I wanted to turn off everything, you know, natural gas, heating, cooling, fuel, electrical, you can see I'm turning off the layers of information and what I'm left with is just the site data. So if I expand site data here, we can take a look at this and you can see our roadways or our runway, all right, has a certain fill, certain pattern, certain shading. So what we can do is we come in here and if you double click on a layer, it it's going to open up another dialog box that is your style editor. So in our style editor here, we can go ahead and we can change the way this information looks. So if I was to come in here and pick on this ellipse button, it's going to take me to here where I can tell it not to apply a fill hat pattern. Or if I want to apply the fill pattern and I want to change its transparency a little bit. So if I want to shade it out and it still makes it transparent. This actually is an advantage over hatching is that I can shade this information out so that I can see information underneath it. So maybe I had an aerial image that I could actually see through this shading or this hatch pattern. This is a transparency, okay? So if I set that and shade it down a little bit, you'll see that it will actually change the color and lighten it up, okay? So what I could then do next is I could come in to um, some of these other layers. You can turn them on and off like I showed you. We turn communication off for a minute. Let's go and select the um, the wastewater. So if we turn the wastewater on and we take a look at this, you'll see that there's some valves up here that are our existing manholes. Okay. But what we want to do is we want to see these existing manholes instead of seeing them as um, a square, right? We actually want to see them as a manhole. So if you take the manhole, we'll double, go ahead and double left, left, using your left mouse button, double click on it. It brings up the style editor. So for the style, for the manhole, you can see it's going to bring up this dialog box. We're going to come up here and we're going to select this symbol. And instead of it being a square, we're going to be able to go and find the block that represents the sanitary manhole. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that. We'll click OK. Maybe we want to change the color of it. Um, green is acceptable for sanitary, so we're going to use that. We'll select OK there. And now when we close the style editor, let's go ahead and close that down. And we take a look, you'll see now the block is representing that sanitary manhole. The same thing we can do with the, the lines, so the wastewater line, and we've got this uh, fitting point so we can set a style for those as well but for the wastewater line we want to change that line style again this is not a layer this is not a CAD drawing this is the shape data that's actually connected into it so all we're doing is we're putting a style on this data so that it shows the way we want it to so we want to use this green color for our sanitary and that way we can easily identify that it's a sanitary line versus a water line versus a gas line Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to stylize all these um, inform all this information. So again, this is just setting up the existing drawing. Once this is set up and saved, you don't you don't have to mess with it again. All right, so this will take a little bit of a work, a little bit of work, not a whole lot, but we're going to go through and when we're done, we'll have a completed drawing that's all stylized with water valves, manholes, so on and so forth. So what you need to do now is basically if you just start maybe with water service and change the water valves you know make them blue 
uh, change the water valve. Let's go ahead and we'll turn that on. Uh, just double click on the water valve and then come up into the symbol and change the symbol and find the water valve. If the water valve doesn't exist in this particular drawing, then you can either import it as a block. These are blocks that we're looking for. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this to blue again. All right, so I'm setting it to blue for water. And we close that and we take a look at turn the water service on. All right, you'll see that we now have water valves in our drawing. All right, so there's a water valve right there showing up in the drawing. Now, again, when you zoom in, notice how they get smaller. Okay, that is a factor or scale factor of the style as well. So, if I was to come back out to my water valve here and look at the style of it, you'll see that uh, it's units centimeters. If we set it to inches, you can see that we can set it to be 0.1 inches. So that way, when you set your drawing scale, the symbol will be the appropriate size for that particular scale of drawing. All right, so you're stylizing your data inside um, this GIS data inside of Civil 3D in this drawing. All right, so we're going to repeat that for all the other utilities, um, and you can do the same thing. Um, once we're done with that we, and we come back, we're going to show you how to bring the contours in to create an existing ground surface because you're going to need that surface to lay out your utilities and do your sanitary uh, and other utility design. All right, so this is our kind of our existing conditions from GIS data creating an existing conditions drawing.